Hi, welcome to Louie's Smoothies. Today we're going to teach you how to make bread. This one's going to be a whole wheat and white mixture. Um, we're going to sweeten it with honey. We're going to start off by making the sponge. For the sponge, we got three cups of lukewarm water. Okay, it shouldn't feel really any hotter than than body temperature. If it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. We're using the dried yeast. Okay, we're not going to put the name in. Anyway, we're using the dry we're using the dried yeast, and um, so we got three cups of lukewarm water. We're going to put in two tablespoons of yeast. You can get away with one and a half. We got a quarter cup of honey, of the whole wheat flour, and white mixture. And this is for our sponge. Okay. And you're looking at about you're looking at about a hundred strokes. Okay. So we're just gonna incorporate that a little bit. It's gonna kinda it's gonna have the texture of a pancake batter. So there's about a hundred strokes there. And as you can see, pretty smooth. No lumps. Okay, and that's our sponge. There's no salt, there's no oil. The salt will slow down the yeast, and that's another advantage to making your sponge first. Is uh, it gives the yeast a, a better chance of doing its thing. So we're gonna clean off the spoon a little bit. So we just cover that up with a damp towel, okay, and we're going to let that rest for 40 minutes. Okay, so after 45 minutes of resting, there's our sponge. Bubbly, bubbly good. You want to cut through that, that uh, elasticity, so you, we're just going to incorporate the oil by going underneath and folding it over like that all right we're going to incorporate that oil into the sponge a slightly rounded tablespoon of i'm using sea salt just going to sprinkle that over the top there okay i'm going to be adding about another three to four cups of flour total. Okay. To make two loaves of bread, you're looking at three cups of water. And then you just keep putting the flour in. Hit some, hit some of the wet spots. That's looking pretty good right there. Get a little flour on the table here. Roll that out. So quarter turn, push in, quarter turn, fold it over, and just push it away from you. Just do that until it's feeling pretty smooth. If you're doing pizza dough, you want it a little, a little stiffer. If you're doing pizza dough, you want it a little stiffer than, than bread dough. Turn. Wait. That's feeling pretty nice right there.
So that's after 45 minutes. We got the rise, and uh, there you have it. Now we're going to punch it down. We're going to punch that down and hold the edges in. All right, and we're going to leave that. There's our second rise. There's our second rise. All right, looking good. See that just fall down as soon as you poke it. So we're going to take that out. And there's our dough. Just going to flatten that out a little bit. Just knead it just like before, quarter turn, fold over, roll it out. And a little air bubble, air bubble pop. Okay. So we're gonna make a couple of loaves of that. That's, that's a nice dough. It feels really good. I'm just gonna even that out. Now I've made in the past for for uh, special dinners, Christmas, anything like that. Um, I've made the whole loaf, just use this amount for a giant loaf and it's really beautiful. You can push garlic into it, um, sprinkle some herbs on it, whatever you want to do. Have some fun with it. If you want to make a sweet bread, you could uh, do uh, maple syrup for the sweetener and push in some walnuts for a maple walnut bread is beautiful. But uh, we're going to do a couple of different finishes here. So we're going to cut that in half. Approximately. Okay, and you can see, you can see the little speckles of, of basil in there. Okay, that's going to taste real nice. You can smell it already. It smells great. Push. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but there's a technique where you can, you, okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't try that now, but there's a technique you can knead them both at the same time. I'm going to perfect that and get back to you. Okay, so just knead it down. Pull the bottoms down, pinching the seams, roll that over, get the other one. After we shape these, we're going to let these rest for 20 minutes more before they go in the oven. While the oven's preheating, we could let them rise a little bit, 20 minutes. Pinch them up, nice. So we got our baking pan, a little olive oil, okay. put them on there, we'll change the shape a little bit just to mix it up a little bit, we'll roll them out. Like so, all right? We get our cloth, we're just gonna cover that. So that's up to 20 minutes of rising time. And now we're gonna try a couple of different uh, finishes on this. So for this one, 
first thing I'm doing is going to do a, a slice right across the top, about a half inch deep. Okay, and this helps the steam escape and gives you a nice finish on the bread. Remember that um, that Caesar dressing? I just thin it down a little bit. And I'm just going to drizzle that inside there. All right, like so. I'm going to do a wash on the whole thing like that. For the second one, remember that egg wash mixture? So we're just going to do an egg wash on this one. And the Caesar dressing is basically egg, oil, garlic, Parmesan cheese. So it's all going to be pretty tasty on that bread. I just thin it down with some water. Okay, so there's a nice wash on there. Try to get it low underneath because when it rises, it's going to have a little bald spot underneath. You might want to get more of that. So for this one here, I think we'll just go uh, one down the middle, like that, and then another one down that side. Another one down this side. And for this one here, I'm just going to put a little more sprinkle of the basil on top. Okay? Just to make it a little nicer. And that's it. Okay? So now we got the, uh, the oven going here. And that's set at 350. I'm gonna put that in the middle. I got a convection bake here, so it's gonna have, has the fan. All right, there you have it. And we're gonna set that. We're gonna check it after 45 minutes. There's the countdown. Timer off, we're gonna clear that. Let's take a peek. Looking pretty good. That's looking nice. So now, so there you have it. There's our um, our loaf with the egg wash. All right, with the slits made in after the egg wash was done. And there's our uh, our loaf with the Caesar dressing watered down and, and poured down poured down the middle. So I wish we had smell o vision. So I'm go right down the middle. Nice and warm. Isn't that nice? Looks good. Mm-hmm. 